Okay, this is where we left off. Actually, I'm recording this immediately after <laughs> I recorded the previous episode. I'm only saying, oh, this is where we left off. So I can remind future me uh, that this is the next video. Because um, I uh, stopped one... I stopped the, the earlier recording because I thought I wasn't recording, but now I am recording. And that's just... Whatever. <laughs> Scarecrow Fields. These enemies are fucking gnarly in this one. They're not the worst. They're not, by all accounts, they're not the toughest enemies in the game. And, well... No, they kind of are. But... They're at a level of difficulty where, like, I'm just kind of used to it. These guys. Oh. All right. Yeah, we're we're gonna need the hammer. Let's read this. The scarecrows are almost unstoppable, so don't be a hero. If you can't beat them, try trapping them while you make your escape. Using your new daring dash ability should help you get ahead of them quickly. Okay, so that's the thing. Uh, you need to kill them. <laughs> Uh, if you want the chalice, uh, that's almost like a, it's, it's weird. It's like, it's discouraging you from fighting them. Cause it's like, oh, it could be just in case it's too hard, but I got this watch. I'm about to mix this fucking dude. I'm about to scramble him. Watch this. Yeah. Yeah. I did that by myself. Oh, what's your friend doing here, huh? Yeah. The scarecrows are tough. Like, don't get me wrong. This game is hard. I'm just making it seem easy. <laughs> this game is not an, an easy game, per se. Like, it can get just a little unfair at times. I mean, look at my health right now. But it's still, like, by all accounts, it's not the hardest game. These farmers are silly, man. Look at them. They're just, like, popping out of the hay. What are you doing in the hay? Is, 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 is she doing something strange in there? What are you doing? Yeah, see? Just, what are you doing in the hay? Yeah. Get out of here. Silly goose. Who else? No one? Alright. Ah, ah, ah. Nah, you ain't gonna come out of there. Uh, what am I stuck? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, 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 okay. Oh. <laughs> you alright there, Dan? <laughs> These guys are goofy. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> They're so fucking goofy. They look intimidating, but they really don't. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that was fun. Alright. Uh, there is a scarecrow around here. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> We're just bullying each other, dude. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He's sleep. I like how the game is like, they're almost unstoppable, and they just go like, you just hit them with the hammer a few times. It's like, <laughs> I guess it's to encourage the little kids not to fucking, what, what, what game is this rated actually? Let me look at this. Yeah, it's rated T for teen. Even still though, it's like, I guess it's like a, you know, just in case. <laughs> Cause you ever like, you remember when you were a kid and you played video games and like, if anything didn't die in like one or two hits, you got scared of it and you ran away. That's basically what it is. I'm not no little kid no more. This guy's different. He yeah, he shoots lasers at you. That's the thing. That's how I play this game though. I just like, I, I I'm just like taking hits, not really dodging anything. Because, well, because how can you really dodge in certain spaces? Like, like like this is the best you can do, but like. When, like, shooting arrows, you gotta, like, stay put for some reason. Well, you don't gotta, but still. It just feels a lot... a little unnecessary as well. 
Oh, 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 the corn. There's something in the corn, man. There's something in that corn. You don't want to be in there. What the? What are you doing up there, silly? Get down. Get down on it. Get down on it. How are you gonna do if you don't really don't want to dance by standing oh, on the wall? <laughs> Tell me. No! When I want to dance what? by standing on the wall. Get your back now on the wall. Tell me. Oh, yeah, this guy's cool. He fights for you. You, you gonna get him? Yeah, see? Yeah, he's cool. Get that scarecrow over there. Charge at him. Come on, get him, get him. Come on, Fink Fan Foom, I need you. That's a Marvel reference that none of you know. Yeah. Where are you going? Come here. Yeah, go get him. Get that guy. Yeah, get him. Oh, he's leaving. Oh, no, he's not leaving. What the, f what? Whoa. What are you doing, long boy? Okay, yeah, now he's leaving. Bye. He's fun. Ow! Oh no! Oh, get out there! No! 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 All right, now we can. No! 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 We we gotta we gotta do the obstacle course first. Ow! All right. Oh, this thing's meaty. Ah! That I think that thing one shots you actually. Man, who do you think built this? This is like some fucking Saw shit. This is like some fucking John Kramer shit. Well, who did this? Who thought it was a good idea to make this? Ow! Fuck my ankles! My skelly ankles! Ah, 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 there we go. This game is very, like, Nightmare Before Christmassy. Oh. <laughs> this game is very Nightmare Before Christmassy. Proceeds to get stuck in the grinder. Uh, ooh, money. Get over here. Where the fuck is that bat? I feel like Ozzy Osbourne. Get the shit out of here. You don't know that reference. <laughs> Oh my god. That is very fucking Tim Burton. That is very Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh. All right, let me just There we go. Got another. Ooh, got another life. Let's go. Got money. All right. This game fucking rocks. Uh, is that? No, that's not a bottle. I, I can only remember where some bottles are. I don't remember where they all are, though. That's the only thing. Like, like I know where the last, last one is. This level is not the one that I like. It's, it's the next one, and I just want to get to it. Come on. Ah! Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, this next guy gives you the good sword. Yeah, check this out. Fortis, you, you jawless arrow magnet. Damn! What are you doing back here? They got roast me for. What? Call me Mr. Woden the Mighty. I think he's supposed to be like a riff on Kratos, because he's got the, the thing on his eye. You're just not cut from hero material. And if you don't get your fucking bootleg, Mr. Clean, out of here. 
I should slap you in the head. Yeah, now we don't got the poopy sword, though. Oh. Uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that compared to that. Which one do you think is better? <laughs> okay, yeah. There we go. Yeah, the pumpkins are alive. Uh <laughs> Bink! Ow, fuck. The pumpkins explode on you. No homo. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> yeah, these guys fucking suck, too. Get out of here. There we go. Okay, but yeah, that's why, uh, you see how my sword isn't, like, glowing anymore? Well, because it ran out of magic. But that's okay, because this sword is still good nonetheless. Nice little secret area. Well, yeah, that opened up. You know, let's just go in there. Come on. There we go. Oh, I see. We gotta it's like an elevator. We gotta bring it up. There's like one like I think the biggest thing I like about this game, and especially this level, is the aesthetic. Like not the aesthetic, but like the way like textures are and the way like the sky looks, and like sometimes it can just be like a muted orange. Sometimes it can be like really cloudy and really detailed. But I think what it really is for me, and again, you know me, I like medieval settings, but that's not what it is either. I actually genuinely think it's it's um it's the music itself. Um, like the music is one of the big parts of this game, which. I'm a little upset that I'm not playing, but at the same time, not really, because, I mean, I like adding in my own, well, not my own, but, like, I, I like adding in music myself and, like, editing things. I, I just like doing it, you know, but, like, it's still, like, a really good part of this game. Like, actually, like, literally, like, listen to the, the soundtrack of this game. It's not anything, like fucking crazy. Uh, you're not gonna get fucking Skrillex, but, but you're, you're it's, it's gonna, it's still, it's nice, you know? It, it really does fit the mood to this game. It's almost like, it's almost whimsical, really. About to squash me some fucking squash. Shut, <laughs> stop making one-liners. It don't make sense. I feel like fucking Arnold in, um, uh, the Batman movie when he was Mr. Freeze. <laughs> uh, chill out. Everybody freeze. There we go. Uh, no, I don't think I needed whatever that was in there. I'm doing pretty well. Like the, like, the other thing about this game I was going to say that I didn't like was... Uh, be because this was an old PS1 title, they didn't get things perfect. Um, because back then it wasn't perfect. There was still, like, really big, like, almost slight, like, the gaps you had to jump are sometimes, like, ever so slightly too big. And sometimes you fall, sometimes you don't. Like, it's not real. Like, there's a level, the level I actually genuinely despise is one of those is is one of those levels where it's like they like the jumps are slightly too far like the reason for you falling and dying isn't even your fault it's just ugh, it's gross i don't like that level there we go give me and now all these doors open Nope. Not having it. The pumpkins are such, like... They're such well-designed enemies, too. Like, obviously, they're not the most genius when it comes to the gameplay itself, but, like, they look really cool. Like, actually, like, look at the pumpkins. And sometimes they, like, set themselves on fire. It's, it's fucking awesome. All right, there we go. Give me. Uh, 
Alright, that's fun. Alright, now let's... Uh, I don't want to say goodbye to this level, man. <laughs> Like, like, uh, let's uh, let's take a minute to like appreciate it, though. Like, the orange sky is like the most appealing thing, but I like it. And you know how I feel about sky boxes. Like, obviously they just put like an orange background, but like, like not really. Like you like see that m those mountains in the background. It's, uh, ah, just, just. I love it. I love this game. <laughs> It's one of my favorites. It's not my absolute favorite. Um, if Elden Ring is a disappointment, then yes, it will be. Um, well, no, not, not, not Elden Ring being a disappointment, but yes, this might be like... I want to say this is like a good silver medal to my favorite games. All bow down before the master of the vegetable patch. The prize-winning plant who can summon an army of courage with a wave of his noble tendril. Alright, so... Let's talk about the boss. But even still, like... I really can't wait for Elden Ring. I, I want it. <laughs> it sounds like a really good game. Saw the trailer. I was really impressed. It's open world. Uh, which means there's no restrictions. So... Uh, I can do whatever I want. Gaining allies in the Hall of the Heroes is the way forward. Yeah, no shit. What? <laughs> okay, yeah. By God, Fortescue, you must be the luckiest corpse ever to walk the face of the earth. I have something here I can lend to you. Take it or leave it. But remember, I'm only doing this for the sake of Galomir's doomed population. And not for you, you gangly buffoon! Alright. <laughs> you know what he reminds me of? That guy kind of reminds me of Bakugo. Now, before we go anywhere, can I explain to you why um, I don't watch anime? Um, oh my god. The only. There's only like three bits of anime I watch. That's Dragon Ball. Um, uh, I mean, come on, it's Dragon Ball Z. But it's Dragon Ball Z. Uh, a movie I have called um, Spirited Away. You know, that, that's a pretty good movie. And uh, Akira, which uh, if you haven't seen Akira, watch it. It's really good. It's not a show, it's a movie. And it was in the 90s, you know, back when anime was very gory and horrifying. But I don't watch anime. I don't really like anime. Um, say, what, like, say what you will. I don't like anime. It's not, it's not fun for me. Um, like, there's something about the way that the, the, the overexposition of every little thing, the whole, um, like, expl it's like, it's like, just let me watch it. Let me figure it out for myself. But even still. I don't like anime. But there is one specific character in anime that I think I hate the most out of every single character that was ever made in the history of anime. And I think it's Bakugo from My Hero Academia, which is probably not the worst anime I've ever seen, but it's, it's just not my thing. It's it's like if the Avengers had their own anime and it's not it's all right but it's whatever. It's not my cup of tea but You know what? Let me explain myself. <laughs> and we're going to explain my hatred for a fictional character while we're fighting my favorite boss in the video game. Uh so here's the thing, right? Oh god. <sighs> yeah. Jesus. All right. So here's the thing. When it comes to anime, when it comes to, like, yeah, certain pieces of media, especially anime, there's always that character that's not quite the antagonist, but he's not really with the protagonist. He's just kind of there to be some kind of, like, other, not problem, but, like, he's almost like the side antagonist that's not really an antagonist. Like, 
Okay, to be fair, Dragon Ball started it. To be, to, to be fair, Dragon Ball Z started it with Vegeta. Because that's exactly what Vegeta is. He's, he's literally like the exact opposite of Goku. Goku believes in peace. He, he fights to, for the sake of everyone else. He fights for the sake of everyone else. But Vegeta, on the other hand, despises Goku. And he has, and Vegeta is almost justified to, to to hate Goku, and I find that it's very justified for Vegeta to be an asshole, and it's because it's. Let me pause the game. Let me. It makes sense that Vegeta is an asshole. Because that is a part of his culture as an alien. Vegeta knows he's an alien. And he knows what is a part of his heritage. And he takes his heritage and his culture very seriously. And that's why Vegeta is who he is. That's why all of the Saiyans, except for Goku, is who they are. Because that's just how they came up. They're supposed to be warriors. They're supposed to be arrogant. They're supposed to be, you know, like, they're, they're like, supposed to be, like, the strongest. And they pride themselves on being the strongest. And it makes sense. But in My Hero, with Bakugo, they never explain why he is such a dipshit. To everybody. They never explain it. They never give any kind of like reason. He's just an ass to be an ass. And now he's an ass because the person he's been fucking with for years is now way out of his league. And that's why he's an ass. But that still doesn't justify why he was a dickhead to begin with. Like, they ne they don't do anything with it. It's like, oh, he's just there to be there. It's like, you can't just make a character that's just there to be that. To be almost indifferent from the main character's existence. You, you can't, you, you can't fuck it. Ugh, just... Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> What am I doing? I, I have, I am literally starting a heated argument in the comment section from like three years from now. This is gonna like ex fucking explode. <laughs> this video is going to explode, and I am going to explode as a creator. And everyone is going to hate me for saying I don't like Bakugo. But you know what? I don't really care. He's supposed to be. Think of him as bootleg Vegeta. But he doesn't do it right. Yes, he has the arrogance. Yes, he has the the cockiness. But there's no reason for it. It's never justified. He's just that to be that. Honestly, if I was the writer of that show, I wouldn't make it so that he doesn't exist. I would make it so that he has a reason. And if I was... And if I was to write it so that it didn't have a reason, I would have every single character, even the fucking frog girl, to all just jump him and whoop his ass. Even All Might would join in. And we all know All Might. He wouldn't do that normally, but I'd make him do it. You know why? Because it'd be my show. And Bakugo would get his ass whooped every episode. I would literally do him like how they do Krillin. That's, that's how I would write it. Karma's a bitch. I don't like Bakugo. <laughs> uh, what were we playing again? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, this boss is fucking nasty, though. Uh, he's that. He's the big pumpkin with all the fucking boils and shit. Um, he's he's fucking gross though, cause he like he rots over time. He rots as the the boss fight lasts. Not not lasts, but like. After like every fa after every phase, you can kind of see. I'm still mad, <laughs> by the way. I don't like Bakugo. It's like yeah, we know you're you're a fucking dick to everyone, but why? <laughs> why are you such a dick? Are you're an asshole to be an asshole? Well, then you're a fucking asshole, and that's why no one likes you.
Or at least I don't like him. <laughs> Not saying that it's like, oh, this is a stupid character, you shouldn't like it. Like whatever you like, I don't care, but like, <laughs> it's just my opinion on it. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I know where these are. Bop. Oh, uh, he's fucking gross. Oh, uh, oh, I'm fucking like looking at him closer now. Stop. Come on. Come on. Ah. There we go. Oh, the fucking sounds it makes. Alright, I know where that is. Ow, 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 fuck. No, ah, ah. No, 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 no. Look at my health. It's not so bad, but it's not ideal. Oh, look at him now. Oh, oh, yucky. Oh, boy. Run. Ah. Get out of here, boy. There we go. All right. You know what? <laughs> no, fuck it. I'm keeping that in. I'm not. I'm not getting rid of my thoughts on that stupid fucking anime character. Most edifying spectacle, sir. Man and vegetable in a magnificent duel to the death. Oh, I've come over all of a doodar. Here, have this lovely dragon gem as your reward. Oh, and by the way, yes, I know why he, like... I, I understand why Bakugo is how he is now, but, like... It's like... But the way they carry it, it's like, why? Why? Why are you such an ass? Just be fucking normal. Let's get out of here. I'm, I think I'm gonna never talk about anime ever again now. <laughs> that's just the only thing. That's that's the only thing. <laughs> I'm never, never explaining why I don't like anime ever again. Or a specific anime character. I do like Vegeta, though. Vegeta's the best character. I, think, I do think Vegeta is, like, the best character in Dragon Ball. I just, I just, I like him. Okay, so now the stairs are... Okay, the stairs are, are up now. Which means... Whoa, 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 whoa. I hate how the camera does that, though. It's like, stop. Just let me find... Dan, Dan, Dan. Yo, what up? <laughs> Don't be shy. I've seen you giving me the eye. He only has one eye. Feeble like old men. But I like you, Daniel. Who? Mm -hmm. Now listen up. Your bow and arrows are fine for itty bitty jobs, but if you want to pack some serious heat, you should take this spear. I want the spear. Oh. 
Yeah, the spear's pretty good. It's I don't like this I don't like the spear though. I don't like it to I, I prefer the bow, but the guy gives you the bow late. I well I could have gotten the bow if I wanted it, but I don't know. Okay, uh we came back here for something. Uh oh, that's right. <clears throat> uh here's why we're here. Yeah Look at that. Uh this is the starting area, uh remember? Now I'm just thinking about why I don't like anime in general. Oh! Stop. <laughs> Stop it. You're just making people mad. <laughs> God, you're, you're becoming Bakugo. Stop it. <laughs> just making people mad for no reason.